Get around folks, cause today a new story begins as we are starting a journey into the world of outlaws and cowboys in the first episode of my new building series. Inspired by the greedy sun-soaked saloons known from movies, shows and of course Red Dead Redemption, we're crafting another masterpiece that will not only stand strong on its own, but also as part of a much bigger collab that is going to premiere next month. So grab your spurs and load up your six-shooters partner as we ride to a time when cards were dealt, shots were fired and legends were born. So let's get started right now. Now we start. Howdy. After my last exhausting mock, it's time to build something simpler. But don't you think for a second it's not gonna be awesome. Along with a gang of LEGO outlaws from Zbuduj Mytholag, we are attempting another collaboration, this time set in the wild wild west. So when the idea popped out, I didn't hesitate for a second and I already knew what I want to build. A big rugged saloon that is going to be the center point of the whole town. Even though I already built one few years ago as part of my Red Dead Rebriction Street, I've grown a lot with skills since then, so it's a great opportunity to get back to the team once more, especially as part of something much much bigger. So to start off, as usual, you know what we need. A goddamn PLAN! That's right Dutch, so let's start with an overall one, shall we? So the idea of the whole collaboration is to make a long western town street with a lot of different buildings, a wild prairie outside of the town and of course a train going around it all. The depth of the mock will be two and a half base plates with a road in the middle, a line of classic buildings in the back, some smaller details in front of the road and a train track going all along the edge. And this is how the first draft of my part presents itself. The road that is going through the middle is going to be made in dark tan and ground details will be mostly medium nougat with an addition of some dark orange and even a bit of flesh color to add some variety. The train tracks are already in place as this is the part that will connect all of our mocks into one and behind them I'm thinking about making some kind of a fenced area for horses and maybe a storage space since on the right hand side of my part there will be a train station made by someone else. As for the saloon itself, I always wanted to make a classic corner one like for example we can see in Armadillo in Red Dead Redemption, so I started with a rough draft of the shape, but that for sure we won't start in this episode. Maybe next time. First, we need to start with laying parts for the ground, so let's go ahead and do that now. Ok, we have the front part of the ground laid down and we can add the train tracks that will connect all of the parts of the collab. Now before we make the area between the tracks and the road, I first need to figure out how I actually want to make the horse pen, so let's move this front base plate aside and start stacking some dark tan pieces for the road just to have a more general idea of how it should look. The technique here couldn't be simpler. 
just a layer of plates covered by even more plates and some different tiles that will be more or less constant throughout the whole town. Of course, I needed to add some ground color spots just to make it more interesting and this way we have a nicely finished middle part, so let's go ahead and place the remove front base plate to see how it all works together. And here as you can see I've already marked the place where the horses will have their little parking spot and on the right I will leave some space for crates, barrels and all sorts of other train station junk. As there aren't too many wedge plate types in medium nougat, we have to freestyle the edges a bit, but to be honest, it's not looking bad at all. In the horse pen itself, I was thinking about a puddle of water, but since I don't know yet how I will actually decorate this place, I decided to give up the idea for now and just cover it all like the rest of the road. This way we have a pretty decent part of the work done already, so I think to make this area complete, we should finish up the nougat spot on the right and then we'll work on some details. I need an evenly tiled surface here with just a couple of jumper studs because like I said I want to cover it with some random junk later on but for now it should be enough so let's take a quick look on how the whole progress looks so far. So we're gonna find out right now. Pretty good huh? It's just basic groundwork for now without even adding a second layer of it but the color scheme has something to it that just looks good even without any details. So how about we take a break from building for now and let me introduce you to some of the minifigures and animals I managed to put together in the meantime. Some of these figs you may know from my previous western mocks, but I just had to add a few more since I've been collecting parts for them for quite a long time, so let's see them up close, shall we? First, I need to talk about the hunter that you've already seen in the thumbnail picture, which is by far my favorite from the bunch. I finally was able to use the motorbike bags from Fabuland I had since I was a kid, and it just makes a perfect piece for a horse on which I placed an animal pelt from some Lego curtains, some hunting equipment, and even like in Red Dead Redemption, I was able to hang a small animal corpse on the side of the saddle, which just completes this guy perfectly. Aside this fig, we of course also need some other civilians. It's a town after all. So I put together a couple of them mixing all sorts of different torsos and hats to bring some more life into our town. But the most important ones are the girls that will be working in the saloon. To keep law and order in the town, we of course need the good guys, meaning the sheriff and his two deputies, but also two cavalry soldiers you should recognize from my gold mine mock. And if you don't, well you obviously have some catching up to do, 
so I'll leave a link to that video in the card and in the description below. Also from that mock, we have our band of outlaws that will be causing some trouble in the saloon because, well, it's the wild west after all, so there always has to be some individuals that will be on the other side of the law. These outlaws. And to top it all, we of course need some animals, so I've gathered a few like some horses, scorpions, snakes and even a skunk, which to be honest I'm not sure if I should use in this hot climate, but I like the smelly guy so much that he at least should make it to the fig bar. So yeah, quite a big band of minifigures to use in this mock, and I'm not even sure if I'll use all of them, but on the other hand I'm planning to do the interior of the saloon as well, so everyone should find a couple of studs to stand on. You see, in this world there's two kinds of people, my friend. Those with loaded guns, and those who dig. You dig. Yeah, with that out of the way, let's get back to building, because I still want to add some details in this episode, so let's do that by adding a second layer of the ground first. I figured these dark orange spots should be a nice place to raise the terrain, so let's add a couple of parts here that should make it more interesting before I'll start adding some additional details. Now what landscape would it be without some plants, so let's replace a couple of plates with jumpers so that we can have some place to stick in the stems and already it's beginning to look more lively, but it will get even better when I break the color scheme with some sand green plants. Of course, having these small succulents, we cannot forget about some bigger cactuses, so there we go. And now it's time to take care of the tiled area that I said will be some kind of a storage area since the collab will have the train station on the right, so let's just add some clutter here. I didn't expect this junk pile to be such a great addition to the landscape, but I'm glad I went that way, cause it's filling this area perfectly. That is kinda brilliant. Oh, and I also found some sand green clips in my wife's flower bouquet, so I had to do a little steal. Just don't tell her and we'll see how long will it take for her to notice I replaced them with a different color. Ok, but with that done, I think we have enough progress for the start of this series. I was waiting for this build for a long time because I'm a huge western fan and finally it's all growing in front of my eyes and I couldn't be more excited. Yes, the terrain is looking mighty fine, even though it was nothing complicated to build but that just shows that you don't always have to break your brain with intricate techniques and you can make something simple that still looks great. But for now, that is all the progress I've prepared for today, so I hope you've enjoyed the start of this series. It will not be a long one unfortunately, because I'm limited with time, but either way I will enjoy every single minute I will spend on it so the few future episodes are looking very promising, especially that in the next one we're starting the saloon, and that for sure will be a lot of fun. So now it's time for you guys to let me know how do you like the idea and the overall progress I made for today in the comment section below. And of course smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And if you want to see my previous western builds, Make sure you check out these two showing up on the screen and I will see you all next time. So take care partners and as always keep it breaking.